Okay, so finally the update that I have been waiting for to do. Got my stencil. It's the main chip, it's the APU, the Tegra chip here. Stencil for that and it basically make make sense that, that I have no picture and, and uh, it has to go through this since it's a GPU here too. Of course it could be other stuff but uh, it's really now pointing to the to the CPU or the, the processor and, and we're gonna we're gonna try to try to reball it. So we're gonna have to remove the chip, reball it and put it back. Now for that we're gonna have to cook this in, in, in the oven for a while. Uh, I'm going to put it for 150 degrees Celsius for half an hour. I put it in when the when the oven is is uh, room temperature and, and then I let it be there for half an hour and then we take it out and, and then we start to to remove this chip. Let's put it in there. I have a little bit of tape tape there. I did check the HDMI filters and, and those small caps on the other side they were all fine so so we're gonna just do this now let's put it on 150 that was half an hour just turn it off and uh, see what kind of damage we have done nothing looks good all plastic still looks fine right so i put it here and uh, now uh, Let's put some heat on it. Let's first take it up a little bit, put some flux. And I would really like to get it in underneath here. And then uh, my idea would be to try to, to lift it up with this when it's hot enough. Try to put this underneath and then just lift it up. Well, what I learned is that if it won't move, then go higher. Okay, it is loose. It is loose now. So. Whoops. That wasn't good. Well, it is loose. Yeah, hopefully it didn't get destroyed, this, this uh, CPU. It took forever. My temperature was 580 degrees in the end, in the end here. So I have cleaned. I cleaned the CPU and the, and the motherboard, or the APU or the Tegra chip or whatever you main chip, what you wanna call it. And and now we're gonna uh, now we're gonna reboil it. At least try to. Yep. Good. Okay, so here is the here is the board, and uh, here we have the chip reboiled. <laughs> now we're gonna try to put it on without a reworking station, and it's not gonna be easy. I actually had to reboil this twice. And uh, I'm still not happy with this, so we'll see what happened, but yeah, 
it's gonna be really hard and we, we need to line this up now. Uh, is this enough? I have no idea. Let's let it cool slowly. Uh, let's see if we if it's straight. I think it is. Okay, so uh, I just uh, gave up on this, unfortunately. And uh, the reason why is uh, this APU is incredibly hot. And uh, it should not get hot. Even if it boots into operating system, it should not get this hot. It's, it's, uh, it's burning my hand. So I think uh, I have destroyed the, the APU at some point here. Uh, it, it seems to be on totally straight, so that's not the problem. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> caps on the other side here are shortened also. And uh, I actually did remove this APU one more time to check, and the caps behind it uh, are not shortened when this is removed. So. I, uh, I have destroyed the APU, so this is gonna be donor board. There's nothing we can do about it anymore. Okay, so this uh, switch number 22 is now. At this point, it's unfixable. I, I, I'm not gonna do anything at the moment for this anymore. Uh, FN is for now. <laughs> if I buy a reworking station, I might try to solder this on again but uh, well we tried and failed miserably but that's no big deal there is worse problem in the world than a switch so no bad feelings and uh, what I might do with this at some point now I'm going to go to do some other videos but what I might do with this is uh, see where the short is where those caps goes they are now when this is on they are shorted to ground so i can check which pins they go to and then i can check the cpu if it's shortened and if it's shortened then it's definitely just a donor board this but as i see it everything else should be fine i mean if the apu was the problem which i think it was uh, unfortunately i can't prove it but i think it was then everything else should be okay. Yeah, I, just to add that uh, FXDX has a video out there that that where he reballs the reball the Tegra chip and and uh, I put link. That was good job. And um, also some people, for instance, Galactus Tienda has said that he had fixed also um, blue screen or similar problem with uh, reballing the the uh, APU chip so but uh, yeah well I don't know that that's that's it for this update now I can unfortunately not prove it in any way it could have been also the DRAM but I don't think so since uh, uh, it only worked one time I think it, it uh, bent a little bit and, and uh, it got contact with the APU when I pressed here and uh, I just think it's it's here the problem was so yeah well anyway thank you for watching so much now I'm gonna do something else and then we go back to some other switches hopefully <laughs> no more APU reballing thank you <laughs> all right goodbye